I turn it over. Son of Israel, Abu, DK Nadabi. Some great saints, you may be seated. We turn it over to page 981 in your books of Yahweh. The title of my speech is called The Pandemic of 1918. In the winter of 1918, the coldest the American Midwest had ever endured, history's most lethal influenza virus was born. Over the next year, it flourished, killing as many as 100 million people. It killed more people in 24 weeks than AIDS killed in 24 years. More people in a year than the Black Death of the Middle Ages killed in a century. There were many echoes of the Middle Ages in 1918. Victims turned blue-black and priests in some of the world's most modern cities drove horse-drawn carts down the streets calling upon people to bring out their dead. Um, it's taken from The Great Influenza, a book by John M. Barry. Uh, on 6-12, I'd put the pandemic of 1918 into Gematria. It was in one of Pastor's writings. Um, and it came out English number 1668. Global health experts have been saying for years that another pandemic whose speed and severity rivaled those of the 1918 influenza epidemic was, not, was a matter not of if, but of when. That's taken from responding to COVID-19, a once in a century pandemic which cites Bill Gates' paper on the Ebola. On Revelation 16, 2, the first plague. And the first went and poured out his bowl upon the earth, and there came a noisome and grievous sore upon the men who had the mark of the beast and upon those who worshipped his likeness. That word sore is, this, is the only, the one of three times that that word is in the second book of Yahweh right there. It's number 1668. The pandemic of 19 ties directly to the first plague. That's amazing. Um, sorry. Uh, be turning over to page 412 in your books, Yahweh, Eob chapter 2. <laughs> 2 verse 1, again there was a day when the sons of Yahweh came to present themselves before Yahweh, and Satan the adversary and accuser also came among them to present herself before Yahweh. That's where we heard of that. Yahweh said to Satan, where did you come from? Satan answered Yahweh and said, from going back and forth in the earth and from walking up and down in it. Then Yahweh said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? There is none like him on earth, a perfect, blameless, and upright man, one who reverences Yahweh and shuns evil, and still holds fast to his integrity, even though you incited me against him to destroy him without a cause. So Satan answered Yahweh and said, Skin for skin, a man will give all he has for his own life. But reach out with your own hand and strike his flesh and bones, and he will curse you to your face. Then Yahweh replied to Satan and said, Behold, he is in your power, but you must spare his life. Let me repeat that. You must spare his life. Um, this next article, it's a pain I can't even describe. Milwaukee woman shares her experience with COVID-19. When Adrienne Lathan felt like she was coming down with a cold in mid-March, she had no idea what the next month had in store for her. Lathan's doctor called the following morning to tell her the flu test came back negative. Her coronavirus results were pending, but by that evening the pain became so unbearable, Lathan said. My entire body was hurting, my eyes were hurting from the headache, and I just couldn't take it anymore, she said. It was just too much to deal with. I was in so much pain, she said, it's a pain I can't even describe. At times, her headache was so bad she needed the lights off. It was like a migraine times five, she said. This next article, Doctor with COVID, it was actually a video. Doctor with COVID-19 describes symptoms as pain everywhere. NBC News Now. Look to uh, Eob 2, verse 7. Then Satan left Yahweh's presence and afflicted Eob with a severe skin inflammation with painful sores from the bottom of his foot to the top of his head. This next article, are COVID toes and rashes common symptoms of the coronavirus? Dr. Choi says, like rashes, COVID toes are just another way that the body can respond to a viral infection. 
It's a different form or manifestation, and it is still not very clear what causes it. One pattern of COVID toes that people are reporting is red lesions typically on the soles. It is possible that this is a skin reaction or caused by a small clog or microclots in the blood vessels found in the toes, Dr. Choi says. Now let's look to Job 2.7 in the King James Version. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord and smote Job with sore boils from the sole of his foot. Does anybody know what that next word is? Unto his, anybody guess? Crown. Praise Yahweh. You starting to catch on? There's a pattern. So Eob 2, 7 in the book of Yahweh, the word afflicted is word number 52, 21, comes from word number 43, 47, and it means plague. Painful is word number 74, 51, and it means noisome and grievous. From the bottom is word number 37, 09, and it means from the hollow hand or the palm of the soul, and even of the bowl of a dish. Of his foot is word number 72, 72, and it means times. The top of his head is word number 69, 36, and it means crown. The top of the head, so-called from the hair, being divided and separated, divided and separated. So Eob 2.7, simply putting these words into that scripture in the places where they came from. Eob 2.7 reads, Then Satan left Yahweh's presence and afflicted Eob with the plague of noisome and grievous sores from the bowl of the divided times, corona crown. Is that not amazing? I've been having a, a nuclear meltdown in my past head, in my head for the past months, just like, man, praise Yahweh. Um, 6 18 20, Pastor wrote a newsletter on Yahweh's branch. It, I advise you to get on there every prep day night or on. Uh, the night before prep day and prep day morning and read it, man. Uh, coronavirus does not kill, say, prophecy, science, and doctors proving Yahweh true. Pastor wrote in there, the evil ways of the gods will bring six more plagues that prophecy shows will be killers. The coronavirus is not what kills. Yahweh shows us that in prophecy. Look back up to verse 6. And then Yahweh replied to Satan and said, Behold, he is in your power, but you must spare his life. You can't kill him. That's prophecy right there, man. That's beautiful. Proven pastor words true. The coronavirus is not what kills. Yahweh shows us that in prophecy. Turn over to page 414. Yob um, 5, verse 17. Behold, behold, that word behold, man. That word behold. Behold. Please fall behind. Blessed is the man whom Yahweh correct, corrects, so do not reject the discipline of the Almighty. Look to verse 19. He, will, he shall save you from six troubles. Yes, in seven, no harm shall touch you. That's, I don't know about you, but the word of Yahweh is uh, truly amazing. Um, let me go back for a moment. The pandemic of 1918 was the title of this speech. That's the name of, um, that I put, that's what I put in Gematria. Um, I put that phrase in numerous different times over the past months when this stuff started taking place. 
and I never got what I put in there. And it wasn't until one day I was reading pastor's teachings, and then the pandemic of 1918 was in there, and I put it in Gematria, and sure enough, it led straight to the first plague. Um, the pandemic of 1918 was also Jewish number 744. The book that I first, uh, it's literally right on the inside of the cover that I took the first quote from, from the pandemic of 1918, the great influenza. The guy that wrote that, John M. Berry, you put that in Gematria, 744. Um, but in closing, I would like to say, blessed is the man whom Yahweh corrects, corrects. Please do not dismiss correction. Be from the smallest babe to uh, your supervisor, the priest over you, the south office, ruler himself, overseer Israel, Abel Hawkins, and especially that little small voice that fleets. It's gone so fast you don't even hardly notice it. If you pray about it, it'll start staying a little bit longer and a little bit longer. That's, that's correction from Yahweh. That's spirit holy. We need to hold on to it. Um, and, and if we can overcome the stupidity speaking mainly to myself here. Uh, Yahweh will save us through these next six times of trouble, and we'll make it through all seven untouched. That, I'd like to turn over to the uh, next speaker, the great, if you would all please stand, I'd like to turn over to the next speaker, great deacon David DePass.